Hi. Welcome to our show. Well, hi, everybody. Coming to you somewhat live and semi-weekly from the Quad M World Headquarters located in Helena, scenic North Valley. It's the Quad M Show. Here are your hosts, TJ and Jason. And Brett. And Brett. We got to throw Brett in there. This has been gone for like the last couple weeks. Doing stuff and things and shenanigans. Hey, there's nothing wrong with shenanigans. There's nothing wrong with shenanigans. We'll get into those shenanigans in a little bit and how much you love them. Definitely. But first, let's talk about how much we love our listeners. Give a little love to the folks giving us the love. Let's do that. Right back. See, that's called segues. We're on two, almost 200 episodes. One more to go. One more. If there's one thing I got my shit together on. It's segues. Yeah, they're great. But that's really about it. <laughs> so to you, thanks for tuning in to, to 199. As we're coming up on 200, thanks to all you folks listening and checking us out, especially you in Union City, California. Hey, Derek. Uh, Bozeman, Montana, Missoula, Montana, Boardman, Oregon, uh, the home offices here in Helena, uh, Wichita, Kansas, Ashburn, Virginia, Clement, Florida, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, Mark, uh, Reno, Nevada. According to Shawshank Redemption, they're good at divorce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you want to divorce, you go to Reno. You want to get married, go to Vegas. You want to get divorced, go to Reno. <laughs> at least they're close. Well... <laughs> They got that going for them. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, and Tucson, Arizona. Thank you all so much for stopping by and checking us out. And, of course, lest we forget our uh, nice uh, foreign knee-had-dees to our fine foreign listeners. Uh, thank you out in the Philippines. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Uh, Ireland, Canada, the Netherlands, and Pakistan. Ooh. Ireland. <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> huh. Now we're used to all the stands and the stuff like that. They pop up occasionally. <laughs> yes, hello, my name is Seamus O'Malley, and I really, really do love to watch, listen much to that Quad M show. They are so fantastic. <laughs> what? I love that. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Did you need help with your computer? <laughs> <laughs> this is Beggy. Did you, did you try pressing on and off? <laughs> <laughs> Did you give it a start look and a finger wag? <laughs> okay, press control Please. alt delete. Please hold. <laughs> oh, you should hear him all over there talking all funny like, Handy, I need help with my computer. <laughs> Those stupid Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that sounded like that guy from King of the, uh, was it? King of the Hill. Ah, <laughs> uh, I sell propane. <laughs> Hank. Hank, there you go. That's right, God damn it! I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's Hank. I am, I am proficient in selling propane and propane accessories. God damn. Boy is not right. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Now do it in an Irish voice. <laughs> Can't kill the Irishman. <laughs> give me, give me one second here, and well, faith in Begora. <laughs> this here's Hank O'Hill. <laughs> oh, Come, coming at you from. <laughs> <laughs> coming at you by way of Belfast. <laughs> You ever tried a potato cooked on propane? <laughs> faith and faith and begore. Shall I go grab my shillelagh for you, Boom Hower? I'm sorry. Oh, Boom Hower. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Any any other any other language you would like me to <laughs> any, other, any other foreign country you'd like me to present Hank Hill with? Uh, yeah, but we'll save that for a later time. <laughs> Howdy, my name is Hank Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that whole Chinese virus I hear is running around here. Rub a little dirt on it, you'll be okay. That's what we do in Beijing. <laughs> just, just say you sell COVID and COVID accessories. <laughs> 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 
Nope, I sell bats over at the farmer's market. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how like when you when 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 you're you're uh, U.S. of A, you call uh, the Mexican hat dance. In Mexico, they call it a hat dance. <laughs> you call it a Chinese <laughs> Chinese farmer's wet market. <laughs> I just call it the market. <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> <laughs> told my wife. <laughs> told, told, <laughs> told my wife I wanted a '69 last night. She says, "What the hell you want a goddamn beef and broccoli for at this hour?" <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You were cutting out of my headphones. <laughs> um, it must be you because I'm hearing mine just a uh, fine. Yeah, I'm hearing you too, TJ. Or Thanks. else, or else the noise gate is uh, acting up a little bit. I don't know because it's kind of cutting in and out with the you know it, the 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 audio will will drop when no one's talking type of a thing. I don't no, know. No, it just cut out. Okay, is it still cutting out? Nope. Okay, we're back to good then. Funky. Like we said, almost 200, and we ain't got our shit together. <laughs> the equipment. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I just plug it in. <laughs> Fuck you. You're racist. I'm not recording this shit. <laughs> You're not racist. It's black. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's saying. Roadcast Pro matters. Or something, I don't know. So let's go ahead and get going with, our, with what we normally do. Jason, good sir. How was your week, pray tell? Uh, busy as fuck, boring and uneventful. That's uh, that's usually not flavors you get all together at once. Busy and boring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back's doing good? You're, no. you're loosened up? Oh, it's still, still a little, little, little tight? Still a lot tight. Yeah. Mm. See, now you're gone. Well, back. gone back. That's because I turned the mic off while I was drinking some of this diet Pepsi. Ah, since ah. I'm since apparently there's like, you know, they want to say it's an aluminum shortage. No, it's a fucking worker shortage because they laid everybody off. There's no aluminum. So you can't. I, I know. Right? I know this to be true. Yes. Like who the fuck? Is, I've never even heard of an aluminum shortage. Oh, oh, oh! That was the that was the thing going around because I have a a buddy of mine that's uh, works for one of the distributors in town. And that was their excuse for not having, you know, various assorted brands of beers and soda in cans. And it's like, no, it's not a, it's not an aluminum shortage. It's a production shortage. Let's get it right, people. That's silly. So yeah. So instead of instead of my usual diet, Dr Pepper, I am relegated to the, uh, the 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 quality aftertaste (laughs) of of diet Pepsi. (laughs) The quality. <sighs> I, 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 Yum. I tried one yeah. of the Pepsis with real sugar. Uh-huh. It was fucking gross. I've, I've really? I that. love those. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, it reminds me of my childhood. I don't know. I just, I mean, they took the Pepsi, the sugar out of most of it in like the 60s before I was even born. So I don't even know the difference anyway. Right. So it, See, it, I guess I like my good old fashioned corn syrup. Oh, yeah, that's right. Goddamn <laughs> God damn right. Uh, yeah, no, I've heard, I've heard it the vice. I've heard a lot of people prefer, prefer the real sugar over the, the, the corn syrup. I mean, either way, it's, you know, terrible for you, but you know, like I've, I've, I've never, I've never tried cause they, they've got it with the Pepsi. They've got it with the Coke. They've got it with the Mountain Dew, uh-huh. which is my tooth and gut rod of choice, uh, but not uh, anymore. Unfortunately, Brett, you've been gone for a couple episodes, dude. Uh, just one. No, no, there was two. Okay, maybe yeah. two. Yeah, you had two. You had two weekends worth. Of I camp, had two weekends worth of, worth of worth of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how was camping? How was family time? How was the wilderness? The wilderness is beautiful. The wilderness is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we went up Rock Creek this last weekend. Okay. Uh, found a camping spot up there, um, and so did half of Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Every time you turn around, Washington, 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 Washington. Well, apparently during uh, you know a pandemic, <laughs> Mo- Montana is where Washingtons go. Washingtonians is that what you call them? Yeah, Washingtonians. Washingtonians. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so we got a, a brand new camping stove, right? Okay. It's one of the, it's a nice big one. It's a two burner. It doesn't have a bottom to it. So like when stuff flies out, you know, or, or sizzles out or grease sure. or whatever comes out, it just goes to the floor and you don't have to clean it. Sure. Yep. Is it a Coleman? Uh, no, I cannot remember. It's like a, it's a black iron stove. You, you guys it, are okay uh, if I turn off the AC, right? Is it one of the ones that has like a stands on like a like a wrought iron stand type of deal? Uh, it's of got legs that you put on it, right? Okay. Um, so it's pretty heavy duty. I, kinda, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we were setting up camp on Friday night um, at you know almost dark thirty. That's the best time. <laughs> That's the best time, yes. It's even yes. better when it's raining. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm setting up the our tent, um, and, you know, the wife's packing some stuff out of the truck, and this new stove it comes in a black bag, right? So she decides to put it in a place where, hey, I can get to this really quick, and I'll come back to it later. So <laughs> okay. not like five minutes later, she comes by and kicks it. Oh, like a full-on kick, and she did not have very protective shoes on. Oh, owie. owie! Yeah, yeah. So that limited her ability to uh, <laughs> trounce around the woods. <laughs> yeah. But she's doing okay now. She's doing okay. She went to the doctor and you know got some pain pills. It's not broken. Oh, good. So she's she's doing well. The dogs had a great time in the water and running around. You know, <laughs> there was a really nice fishing hole we went into and. The dogs went directly into the water, and I went, well, I guess we're not fishing this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the text previous, you kind of had an idea that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you bring a, a dog who loves water fishing, you're not going to fish very much. Yeah, you're That's, bringing bird dogs fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, uh, They're not fish dogs. <laughs> They're bird dogs. <laughs> they will go after trout that are rising, though. <laughs> <laughs> they have yet to catch them, but they try. <laughs> come, here, come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fish are a little bit quicker in the water. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, it was a good, good trip. Caught a few, you know, little cutthroats. And yeah, had a good time. There you go. Yeah. How was the rest of the week for you? Ah, the rest of the week was. It was busy. We are super busy doing a lot of stuff at work. Um, plus, I'm down a guy. Oh, well, I'm down a couple guys. Uh, you remember the guy that, the big boy truck guy? The, the toilet seat big boy yeah, truck? Yeah, the toilet yeah. seat guy. Yeah, uh -huh. he, he quit. Oh, God. Okay, what, what hazing did you guys do to him this time? <laughs> we didn't haze him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shitting you. He quit because the my work has a mandatory mask. For employees. Okay. So he quit. Oh, so he's one of those that refuses to wear. Yeah. Is, is yeah. It, was, it because, was it for health reasons? Like, is he asthmatic, short of breath, or was he just... No, it was for political reasons. So he's uh, an asshole. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I thought it was kind of funny, though, the day after he tells me he's going to quit is when our governor put in the mandatory mask law for the entire state. <laughs> and I'm going, you don't want to wear a mask? Well, guess what? <laughs> You're not going to buy any food now, are you, buddy? <laughs> we'll, we'll starve them out. <clears throat> yeah. So that was kind of funny. So, okay, so Big Boy Truck quit. Big Boy Truck quit. And the other guy? Uh, the other guy was out because he was having a COVID test. Oh, okay. Uh, which came back negative, so. Yeah. We, you know, it, it, it was fine. I, I looked at the numbers for some god awful reason. I think I was just bored during during my break, so I, I was looking at numbers and it. Yeah, I mean, you know, our our county because they've got if you if you go, you can actually see in Montana the numbers per county. Yeah, and I was seeing like uh, uh, from the last time I had looked, like yeah, we we've doubled. We've gone from a whole whopping like sixty four to one twenty eight. Yeah, a whole hundred and twenty eight people. Yeah, yeah. Over by Billings, though, it's kind of blowing up a little more. Billings is insane. They're like over a thousand. Because I think I think the Montana numbers as of the twenty fourth. That's what the website said was as of the twenty fourth. We were sitting somewhere around like thirty six hundred total statewide, and Billings just just Yellowstone County 
as over a third. Wow. Yeah. I talked to a couple of people who went through Billings and they're just, you know, acting like nothing's happening. Yeah, don't, everything's don't everything's fine, us. you know. Hey, let's spit. <laughs> let's spit on our hands and shake. We're all good here. <laughs> <laughs> everything's <is> fine. <laughs> I think I'm getting the black lung, Bob. <laughs> yeah, our total total confirmed cases is 3,965. Oh, 3,900. Okay. Yeah, and, and like I said, we were sitting somewhere around 128. Which doesn't sound a whole lot to probably to a lot of the people who are listening to us, but remember, we're in Montana. There, there's not as many people. Yeah. We, yeah. We just hit like a million a couple years ago. Yeah. The whole state. Yeah. Million and I people. I think yeah. in the greater Lewis and Clark County, there's what, 50,000, 60,000, something like that? Um, that's right around Helena. Well, which is the Helena greater Lewis and Clark area. And, yeah. Because you got up yep. to, up, you know, from where we're at, you got up to like Wolf Creek. Yep. Yeah, we say Creek in these parts. Yep. That's how it's said. That's yeah, exactly how it's said. <laughs> <laughs> but you got, you know, that way heading north. If you disagree, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You got, you know, Townsend to the east is probably right around the cutoff area there. Mm -hmm. Southwise, I think, what, Clancy? Oh, yeah. Maybe Jefferson. And South Helena. Don't forget about South Helena. Yeah. You know, that's a thing now. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) There there is that. (laughs) We're so large. You know, and then then I think, what, the Garrison Junction is the western kind of cutoff-ish? Ish, Ish, yeah. You know, so, you know, I mean, like I said, the greater Helena area is... By in all intents and purposes, Lewis and Clark County. It's it's pretty great. Yeah. So, and with that being said, you know, 128. But but by the same token, we're just naturally socially distant, anyways. Pretty much. Yeah. There's a lot of people that it, you know they start talking about social distancing. They're like, so just normal life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. It's all fine. You know, and, 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 and you know, Jason's pointed out many many times. I'm a numbers guy, and when you look at it worldwide, I think it's. Upwards of 4.5 million, I think. And when you think 4.5 million, that's a lot. But when you take a look, global numbers, almost 8 billion people, you know, it's still like right around half of 1%. Yeah, so it's not huge. Yeah. But it's, you know, it, the news has to play it up because it's yep. in the light. Currently, it's, worldwide, it's, there is 17,754,187 cases. Really? I thought I thought the number was only at 4. That's what they were that's what I was hearing reported no. a couple of days ago. No, this uh, Or is that or is that the, is that is that including all that have well even even those that have died? I mean the, the, the death number I don't even think is broken a million worldwide, has it? Um that includes the whole thing. No deaths are at 682,000 K 885. K Hmm. Yeah, I thought the I thought the number was slightly lower, but even then. Oh, well, so so the number I gave you, the seventeen million, that's the total cases. Current active, there's five million nine hundred thirteen thousand okay, twenty-two. Okay. okay, so still, yeah, just just over half of one percent of the world's population has it. Yeah. So take that for what it is. I just don't buy too much into the the media scare tactics, especially when it's a when, when it's an election year. Shit, I bet more people have gonorrhea. Oh Christ Almighty! I guarantee more people have STDs. More people this year have probably died from like heart-related illnesses due to obesity. Yeah. Probably <laughs> sitting know. on their ass doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm quarantined and now I got me an excuse. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> I'm doing this for the health of the country. <laughs> I'm a patriot. Click click. Pass the Cheetos. <laughs> Pass the Cheetos. Pass the Cheetos. Can you, I need some more cheese to put on those. <laughs> <laughs> Here, baby, you know what? I'm not really feeling today. Would you just pop that chicken nugget in my mouth and just kind of push my jaw up and down for me? <laughs> <laughs> I got to save my energy. <laughs> I, need, I need more nacho cheese dip for my burger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dipping it in nacho cheese. Oh. oh, my arteries are hardening just thinking about that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. That's some funny shit. Yeah. Um, so, on my end, for the, the, the week that wasn't, um, 
So uh, ran into a deer this week. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was more. It was more of a, of a of a strongly suggested nudge, shall we say? Yeah. Oh. So you couldn't salvage it. Oh, what the deer? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. Well, okay. So so to backtrack here, just to you know give you the full the full scope of the story. Here. Tell us the story. Story time with Uncle TJ. So, anyways. Uh, taking, you know, had to take the madre to work, you know, cause she's, you know, legally blind and it was her last day. So for the second time in as many decades, my mom is retired. Well, that's cool. So congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mama o Damon. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, taking her, and you know, it's, it, it, I wouldn't have thought that the karmic shift would have went my way. But you know how, like, it's your last day of work, and, like, sometimes you think, ah, you know, fuck it, I'll call in sick on the last day. What are they going to do, fire me? <laughs> <laughs> so there was that sort of conversation bandied about, and it's like, yeah, okay, well, we'll just, we'll just get you to work and all that type of shit. So as I'm, and, and for you folks not living in the area, feel free to tune out the name of the roads. I really don't care. Um, so I'm coming up Sierra Road. I'm going to turn down Green Meadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, just point of reference for the guys here in, in the world headquarters. And I'm about halfway from getting, you know, from reaching Green You're Meadow. Yes, question up front. No. Oh, I thought you were saying you. Okay. Yeah, anyways, anyways. I was going to mm -hmm. say halfway from where? Um, okay, so here, here again, let's, let's, let's go ahead and lose every audience member now, shall we? McHugh. Okay. I go Halfway McHugh. Halfway between McHugh and Green Meadow. Yes. Okay. For all you points. Go ahead. Follow along on Google Maps, kids. You'll enjoy it, Joy. Interactive show that we are. So anyways, so, and I'm, I'm a horrible judge of distance, but I had, I had just turned, turned up, and I would say maybe 100 yards, 150 yards up, I see the, the deer kind of bounding across, right? And I don't think anything of it, you know, because he's, he's mid-stride. He's galloping legs wide like, like, like a, the poster child for caution deer crossing signs everywhere, right? Sure. <laughs> Happy, energetic deer. So I got my mug o coffee in my hand, right? And I'm taking, you know, taking the swig, staring forward. And just as I'm setting it down, all of a sudden, I hear this high-pitched scream in the uh, in 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 the the seat to my right, and then as I look up, you know the the viewpoint over my hood to the road, holy shit, it's deer ass! And so I slam on the brakes. Right now it's a thirty mile an hour, I, I believe thirty mile an hour speed limit. So by the time I got to the deer, I'm gonna say I was probably doing maybe about two. <laughs> <laughs> you are cruising so, so i'm thinking can i stop in time can i can, will, 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 will it stop will, will it stop will it stop well so what ends up happening is i see the deer kind of fall over and then i see deer legs kind of kind of coming up over the hood you know hooves just wiggling and scurrying and <laughs> holy shit and, and as the car comes to a stop the deer rolls back over, gets on its haunches, and 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 kind of looks back. And I swear to God, I swear it it muttered something anti-Semitic. I'm not 100 percent <laughs> sure on this. Are you? So, anyways, um, yeah. So, so, anyways, the tear bounds off. You know, pissed off that I that I ruined its sightseeing trip. You know, like, hey, 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 look out! I'm fucking standing here. Yo, hey, what the fuck? Look at this beautiful morning. Everything's great. Yeah, this is great. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! What the fuck is that doing? <laughs> <laughs> and so. As as you get we get up to the the intersection. It's a three way stop because you got the end of said Sierra Road and then Green Meadows the cross street. And on the opposite side of the intersection is the driveway to a house. So I pull into said driveway. I'm like, okay, let's see how bad the you know, let's see what the what the damage was from this <laughs> two mile an hour one person <laughs> and one deer. And this is when I learned that uh uh, uh d d Toyota, 
fine, fine vehicle manufacturer. I have been a proud owner of Toyota vehicles for well over 20 years now. And I look, and, and the grill and the front of everything is, is pristine. It's like it's hardly even touched. But then where the, the, the Toyota logo is, and it has like, kind of like the expanding, what I thought was metal, but now I realize it was just like aluminum foil that was uh-huh. flattened out really uh-huh. well. It's got, you know, like the little creases, like somebody scrunched it up and then straightened it back uh-huh. out again. So it's got, you know, nice little folds and creases. That was the extent of the damage. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually pretty lucky for hitting a deer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at two at yeah. two miles an hour, roughly. At two miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two types of people in Montana, you know, those that have hit deer and those that will. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's pretty yep. much how it goes around these parts. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I think we're like completely wrong in our hunting strategies, though. It's just, it's we, just you know we that's we a good like, point. We gotta like take the bullet, slow it way down to like 55 miles an hour, and put little headlights on it. And the deer will just like bounce right in front of it. Right in front of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> when do you have to aim that much? Just, oh, there's some deer over there. Boom. <laughs> oh, shit. Two of them jumped out. <laughs> I got a twofer. <laughs> What's going on all over here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Either that or put the sound effects, you know, those little things they sell to put on your car that are supposed to kick deer oh, away. Oh, the deer whistle things. Yeah, those those do not work <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever. I don't, know, I don't know that they ever have. No, no. They still sell the shit out of them, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a popular gimmick. They yes. try They try hard. Yep. yep. I will say, though, TJ, I bet, I bet that, that poor deer... Is telling a different story. <laughs> this motherfucker, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm just standing in the middle of the road, minding my own business. business. This fucker's driving 102 <laughs> miles an hour. Well, gosh, Dave, I mean, we know you enjoy love. I, yeah, yeah, I enjoy going out and enjoying some of that, that lovely Montana sunrise. And there I am, looking the entire opposite fucking way that the sun rises. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't going to point that out. Let it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a deer. I don't know direction. What the fuck, man? <laughs> then all of a sudden, I get ass fucked by a goddamn forerunner. What the hell, man? <laughs> I look back at him and I'm like, you f- I'm out here. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no>. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> Sometimes the buttons, she don't like to work the way she's supposed to. <laughs> That's enough. Stop it. Awesome. I wasn't expecting to get my goddamn cherry popped while I'm out here taking a, you know, taking a, my morning walk. What the fuck, huh? Hey. <laughs> well, tell you what. Tell you what, Dave. What I did find out is, you know, I got hit in the ass, and I kind of liked it. <laughs> Dave the gay deer. He got woke. He got woke. He got woke. <sighs> um, You know, and, and, and the other thing, too, here. Now, you know, last week I made the... Uh, the comment about uh, leading a healthier lifestyle and, you know, get, ramping up the uh, the workouts, you know, getting all everything going there. Uh-huh. Oh, oh I, I might as well use the, the TJ's weight loss challenge theme music here. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Oh, did you so, hear about our little girl? Uh, <laughs> I don't say no. What? Doja Cat? No, what happened to Doja Cat? Oh, she put out a video saying now she don't care if she gets the COVID, she ain't scared, blah, 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 so she got the COVID. Yeah, so she got the COVID. Well, there you go. Get well soon, Doja Cat. It's my, my gal, Doja. All, all rode it up. All rode it up. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so yeah this this week has been a fucking this, this is like tired tj going on this week oh yeah yeah because did, did, did you do some of that 
you know, scorching mm-hmm. bendy thing. The scorching <laughs> bendy thing. Wrapping my objects of as if wrapping myself up in cellophane. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, doing, 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 doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still, the, the, the hot yoga is fucking amazing. It's like, I mean, I don't care how fucking, you know, dog ass tired I am. The next day, I mean, like that, that evening and into the next day, dude, I've got. I'm like a fucking deer ready to bound across the road and then just stop and smell the roses you know, uh, as a car decides to crawl up my colon at two miles an hour. Um, the, uh, but, but that's, you know, that's certainly part of it. I've been getting up at, at um, like 2.45, boom, my, my internal clock, I am fucking awake. Wow. Like I beat the alarm by 15 minutes. And the whole point was getting up at three so I can go in, hit the gym, get to work, get, you know, weight or cardio or both in before going into work. Sure. And the problem is the backside of that is that my body is not quite willing and ready and able to go to bed at an early, decent hour. Uh, okay. So I mean, if, you, if you look at, you know, the Fitbit uh, uh, tracks the sleep time and you can see for like the last two weeks... Two hours, 30 minutes, three hours and 15 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, the sleep cycle is just, you know. So in a few days, you got your eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you add them all up cumulatively. Yeah, 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 yeah add them up. You're fine. Yeah, so needless to say, uh, uh, this evening, I'm going to try my damnedest to stay awake while we enjoy a fine movie over at the Carlson, the Carlson one. We'll throw the, rocks the Carlson at. one. <laughs> the, yes, the, Car- <laughs> the Carlson one cinema. The Carlson one. <laughs> Um, we'll throw uh, rocks at you. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I, I, no. It's it, it's it's like it's like a, a it's like a, a bus trip during a, a high school sporting jaunt. Oh, you don't fall asleep on the bus. No, you don't. I, I just no, I, 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 bad I don't, things have happened. I don't know what happens on with football, but I can tell you with wrestling, bad horrible things have yeah, happened to people. Horrible things. It's probably no different. Oh, it, it's you know it's, it's a universal thing. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee. But uh, um, I wonder if that still happens these days, or or do the kids that now get thrown in jail for those? Their the, the fucking snowflakes. I guarantee they don't. They better not. Fucking we 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 gave a kid. Well, I, I I actually I personally never took part in it because I wanted to fucking sleep. So if I was wide awake, I would I would be like middle to back of the bus. But if it was a fucking trip where like you know I had to be in fucking class the next day and. I was not having any of it. I would sit behind the fucking coaches. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! If you sit behind the coaches, you can take a, you can sleep all you want. Exactly, exactly. So I knew I knew where my spot was if it was if it was catch up sleepy mm-hmm. time. And so, but uh, um, the the one thing that I've taken um, real note of of the of the last two weeks is that despite my 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 entrance into the world of middle age. I have not hit that plateau stopping point where, like, you don't work out for a while and you get back into it and you're like, oh, my God, and you just, you can't, you know, you like, you can't even feel your toes after. No, oh, yeah. And, no, I mean, making st- st- making making progress leaps and bounds. I, th- I think I think we, we talked about it last week, and I, I think you may have heard it on the show where I had competition. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so so that, you know, reaffirmed and... No, so you know things are things are moving right along. Well, now, it's, now it's just really honing down and getting back into the full on keto diet. Because I was looking, I thought I was eating relatively healthy, you know, with the stuff, and the numbers just are not there. So I gotta tweak that around. Fifty pounds by the end of the year, my friend. Fifty pounds. That's a that's a lot of poundage. Well, you know, like I said, I I, I know I know how to diet like a wrestler. It's like a sack of flour. <laughs> <laughs> a 50-pound one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, back in the weight room, cardio, you know, cardio is going good. Sweating in the old hot box. <laughs> Sweating to the oldies. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, you do it with uh, Richard, don't you? <laughs> Fuck, why not? What Come on, hell? shake it, girls. Come on. <laughs> Sweaty jazzercise. Feel that burn. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. We're going to melt those 500 pounds off of you. 
<laughs> lift and twirl, lift and twirl. You'll be fabulous. <laughs> Hey, Brett, ask me who I am. <laughs> hey, TJ, who are you? I'm shitty Richard Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fabulous. <laughs> Great. Oh, all right. Well, on that note, let's go ahead here. We'll take our first break. And we will come back with some uh, FGS and some hot takes. Squad M show, kids. Stay tuned. Have you checked out QuadMProductions.com lately? QuadMProductions.com is your direct access hookup to order the Enigma comic book series and download the Quad M Show podcast. Check the appearances page for upcoming events and contact us with any questions or comments. Don't be the only lonely soul who's missing out on all the fun. Visit us today at QuadMProductions.com. That's QuadMProductions.com. You're listening to The Quad M Show. Segment 2. And welcome back to this here Quad M Show. Once again, we are your hosts. I am TJ. And Jason. And Brett. Welcome back to the show. And this segment is brought to you in part by Mirror Mirror Salon and Spa. Now, I know you folks have been seeing those pics online, and you've been saying to yourselves, God damn, how do those quad end boys get so fucking smooth? Well, I will tell you right now, boys and girls, small part of its genetics, but the big credit, however, goes to Shauna and all the fine folks over there at Mirror Mirror. Now, I can tell you from, from my own personal experience, last week, last Saturday, went and got myself all did up. You are looking pretty. I am. TJ's pretty. gotten more haircuts like this month than I've had all year. Yeah, this, <laughs> this month. No, they're spaced out every six weeks. So you could say this quarter <laughs> than you've had all year. See, we could do that. I'm good with that. <laughs> He's getting all defensive. <laughs> Just stating facts. I'm not a pretty boy, damn it. I'm not a pretty boy. If he wanted to say, no, no, if he wanted to say, he has done more fucking gay shit in the last two weeks than I have my entire life, then I couldn't fight that. I couldn't, I couldn't argue that. DJ did quit frosting the tips, though. Well, because there's been no shows. <laughs> it's it's going to come back. When we start doing conventions next back. year, yeah, goddamn rights it will be. My mm-hmm. tips are naturally frosted. Your tips are naturally <laughs> God's my hairdresser. I'm going to go with the opposite. I should, I should frost the tips of the beard. <laughs> That'd be all right. Where I can have all the all the all the face hair, and I can have all the head hair. <laughs> <laughs> Together, we're Sasquatch. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Welcome to the Quad M Show. I'm Squatch, <laughs> and I'm Sass. <laughs> 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 Haircuts, nails, <laughs> waxing, all that stuff that you got over there for you, Mirror Mirror Salon Spa. Uh, give them a call. If you stop on in, tell them Quad M sent you. You get five bucks off any of the services that they provide. What are you waiting for? Give them a call or stop in today, 406 603 0644, or stop on in 2043 North Last Chance Gulch in Helena. That is Mirror Mirror Salon and Spa. Right. And if they can't make you pretty, one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> See? <laughs> That's how you get your shit together. You just... Boom! Just like that. God damn, that was impressive. <laughs> Smooth. You know what else is... Boom! Just like that. Fred G. Sanford. The Fred G. Sanford Award for excellence in stupidity. Moron. You're a moron. Idiot. Idiot. Don't. You're always the stupid idiot. You take lessons. The FGS Award for Excellence in Stupidity. Damn it. All right. Did I do? You big dummy. Yeah, you tell him, Fred. So... This little bundle of joy comes to us by way of, I believe, Massachusetts. Yes, Massachusetts. Florida's getting some time off. Well, you know, they're all quarantining. Well, they got to pull, yeah, the the pull the big fucking guns out next week. Right. I need 
big for 200. Yeah, come on, Florida. Do something. God damn. Somebody do something stupid. I mean, you know what? There's got to be someone in Alabama that can do it, too. I want somebody to beat our Charlie Sheen with AIDS of the Fredgy Sanford Award, the Dutch yeah. oven. Yes. I need somebody to beat the Dutch oven FGS. If you haven't uh, experienced that story, kids, go back. I believe it's like episode three. I mean, this is. <laughs> We the, the 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 guns opened up big time and no I think I think yeah, maybe one or two have come close to beating that yeah maybe but they're very hard pressed when you murder a woman by shoving their shoving their head in the blankets <laughs> that's a that's a fucking hard hard uh, <laughs> that's a bad way to go to whip. oh yeah yeah you know you're just being a dude next thing you know your wife's dead and and you're in prison. I think he no. got acquitted. Yeah, oh, he, he did. He didn't. He, he yeah, got, yeah, yeah. He, he, he got he got out of there. Um, but these two fine folks, they're they're still having their row with the court system. Uh, story goes as such: uh, a nude couple. <laughs> did you say nude? Nude. N U D E. Naked. J. <laughs> J. Bird naked. Uh, uh, a uh, nude couple in Massachusetts. A J. Bird naked couple. Jason. <laughs> uh, let's see. They're tangled with police after they were spotted strolling with their dog near their Massachusetts home. Uh, responding to 911 calls about the naked duo, cops encountered uh, <laughs> cops encountered the couple around 6.30 a.m. Investigators say that uh, Muriel Kinney, age 32, and Kevin Pinto... I'm assuming it's Pinto, not Pinto, but Pinto, uh, age 30, were accompanied by their dog, Lucy, as they walked near their home in uh, Hop... Let's see there. Hop... Hopkinton. 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 Thank you. A town 30 miles west of Boston. Uh, When police questioned Kitty and Pinto about the state of their undress... I love how whoever, I love I love how the guy that wrote this article like sounds like fucking 1950s. Right. As police questioned their state of undress, you know, like pre just just pre Paul Harvey writing. I love it. Their state of undress. The pair allegedly became a confrontational uh, after answering some questions incoherently, uh, after yelling and swearing and uttering something anti-Semitic at the police. Uh, the couple sought to run away from officers, but they were quickly corralled. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> How are you gonna hide? <laughs> 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 I'm sure they blended in well with their surroundings. Oh yeah, great camouflage. Oh, white and pound pasty. Good lord, is that a street lamp? No, no, it's a naked dude. Uh, what followed was a violent scrum during which Skinny and Pinto uh, struck Hop- Hopkinton Police Department officers, one of whom required re- uh, treatment for minor injuries. What fucking damage can you do as a naked person putting up a fight with clothed, not just clothed police officers, but clothed and clothed and armed police officers? That's some that's some shit right there. I'm thinking scratch them, maybe. Maybe, but good lord, I mean, fuck, you got the billy club and handcuffs. You don't even you don't have to bust any of the hard uh, the hard artillery. (laughs) (laughs) That's how you hurt them. That was that was completely unintentional, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) So uh, yeah, so. uh, yeah, causing <laughs> causing minor damage. Someone had to go to the fucking hospital because they got beat up by a nude chick. Uh, Kenny and Pinto were eventually, uh, let's see, they're eventually restrained and placed into custody. They were each charged with indecent exposure, assault and battery on police officers, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and disturbing the peace. All because they wanted to take a walk. (laughs) They just wanted to take a walk like nature intended. (laughs) With their adorable pup, Lucy. If God wanted me to wear clothes, he'd have me born with him. Where would they have hid the doggy poop bag, I wonder? Ah, there's only one place. (laughs) The old prison pocket? (laughs) 
Yeah. I'm wondering. Yeah. I know, just, you know, questions you have to ask. These are important fucking questions. Yeah. They're they're yeah. walking around, you know. So walk. I would I would assume that then their house is definitely unlocked. In, mm. Unless they're holding the keys in said said place. Well, you've got at least three orifices. Yeah. You know, two prison pockets and a vagine. Yeah. No, oh, that's where she that's where she carries her lipstick. That's <laughs> well, you can't go anywhere without that. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to look my best. <laughs> Just as nature intended. So do you think it was I'm like shit, I'm shitty Miriam Kinney. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think it was like uh what are the what are the old ladies in the neighborhood, the old nosy neighbors calls I mean nine one one? I'm not really sure that's a nine one one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh officer, officer. Abner, come to the window quick. <laughs> quick, there's naked people. <laughs> quick, call the cops. Abner. Everybody's gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> They're spreading the Rona. <laughs> Abner, call them quick. They got Doja Cat. They're gonna come after us next. <laughs> Not only are they- <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh man! <laughs> uh, the couple, uh, the couple has not yet uh, been arraigned on the felony charges and misdemeanor counts uh, in district court. Uh, it wasn't the typical day in Hopkinton, that's for sure. Police Chief Joseph Bennett told the local papers uh, they were buck naked. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of my two choices if I was ever going to get into the porn industry. That would have, was one of my two choices for, for buck a porn na- name. Buck, buck naked and... Buck naked and, and Buster Hyman. Buster Hyman. <laughs> <laughs> Buster Hyman and barely legal 22. <laughs> <laughs> You need to stop that. Mom's going. Mom's going to see us. <laughs> Me and my co-star chastity belt. <laughs> I want her to watch. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> no. This can all be found on Pornhub. <laughs> That's right. Tune in now. When I get into the, when I get into, you know, after, see now, now had I started that budding career in my youth, I'd be more on the production side. So now you'd have like Buster Hyman's Stretch Marks and Bullet Wounds, <laughs> Volume 3. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're getting them from teasers, huh? Lo- local talent. <laughs> local talent. Local talent. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new sh- new t-shirt coming out from quadinproductions.com. Local talent. Local talent. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll just be a burlap sack. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you could just go, you know, a raisin. <laughs> or you could just have a picture of Browning. Oh boy! Uh-huh. 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 Brett, that Brett. wasn't even racist. Brett, no, no, it's not like we're not talking about an entire an entire region of indigenous peoples. No. Here's the di- see. It's not racist if I say it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got, the, I've got. I've got. I've got enough. Sp- I've got enough percentage that I can say that type of shit. It's not considered. I just don't get the money. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, st- I'm still learning. That's how that works. <laughs> So so let's see, what else did uh, police Hopkinton Police Chief Joseph Bennett have to say? Uh, they were buck naked. In fact, Hopkinton, which is the, uh, the starting point of the Boston Marathon, was named this month as the country's second safest city by Safewire, the home security firm. Uh, well, yeah, they called 911 for boobs hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> if, it was, if it was old lady titty, I probably would, too. <laughs> well, she was an old lady. She was uh, 30, 32. Yeah. Oh, okay. She was 32. That's, okay. you know, that's that's not, that's MILF titty. MILF titty. It's not quite <laughs> cougar titty. It's still MILF titty. It's MILF titty. MILF titty is just fine. It is. <laughs> 
<laughs> TJ's bobbing his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's off chasing milk titties. Bunga, um, bunga, 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 bunga. I'm going to go over to Hopkinton. Bunga, 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 bunga. <laughs> Get 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 arrested on sodomy charges. Have it have get arrested on sodomy charges. Have it brought down to rear ending. <laughs> have it have it worked down to a rear end collision. <laughs> You've already practiced this week. <laughs> Hot yoga. Scorch, scorching bendies. Scorches the scorching bendies. <laughs> I think he gets cream for that. <laughs> I think they have like a disposable wipe form now, right. too. <laughs> it's my own booth. Here's your Cottonelle wipes, sir. <laughs> and here's some napkins. Hello. Hello, Buck. How's it going today? Great, thank you. Do no, they, Buster. I'm sorry, Buster. <laughs> How's it going, Buster? <laughs> Do they wash those things out when you guys are like each done with them or what? I, you know, I don't know what the cleaning regimen is because you know you have to go in with your uh, with, with, with your own uh, 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 yoga mat. So you know any of the, the the sweat as it's pouring off of you is landing on the mat. So I think I think there's and especially in today's uh, uh, Rona riddled world. I'm assuming there has there's a, a higher mandated cleaning that would be going on throughout the day. Oh, there'd probably have to be, or they'd get shut down. I, you know, you would assume so. You would think because you got to remember, workout facilities is one of the like two or three places where you don't have to wear a mask. Yeah, because you're physically exerting yourself. Mm-hmm. So you know, in the gym or a place like that, you don't have to wear the mask. Restaurants because you're eating or drinking, you don't have to wear a mask. And I. I think there's a couple others that got greenlit to avoid having to wear the mask, but I don't know. Not sure. Speaking of masks. So, yeah. So, so the naked people weren't even wearing masks? Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. So not only are they naked, they're spreading corona. That's what Gladys was talking to Abner about. You know, there she is out there spreading the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of goddamn naked hoodlums. So to you, uh, where are we at? Mur- Mur- Mariel. Mariel? Yeah, I'll go with that. Mariel? M-A-R-I-E-L. I'll say Mariel? Ar- Ariel with an M. Mariel? Mariel. 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 Mariel? Mariel. Do we all concur? Concur. Bully, bully. Here, here. Bully, bully. Mariel Kinney and Kevin Pinto. Congratulations, you two. Are the winners of this week's Fridgey Sanford. poor Lucy had to witness it all. <laughs> and poor, Lu- poor Lucy. Poor Lucy. There's, there's, there's always an innocent victim in these damn things. Nobody interviewed the dog. <laughs> no, I, <don't>, right? <laughs> I didn't want to be here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should see what they do inside the house. It's a, bro- it's a broken home. Congratulations, you two are the winners of this week's uh, Fridgey Sanford Award for Excellence in Stupidity. You dummy! <laughs> <laughs> the sweaty bends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The scorching bendies. You'll love that. What what do we got here? Is that the Doja Cat article? No. Yeah. Look at the source of everything. A Jewish rapper. I didn't know she was Jewish. Look at the source of the article. The Jerusalem Post. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me, if we're going to read this, we got to read this right. Fame the Jewish rapper Doja Cat. You know the Doja Cat. I know the Doja. Yeah, she sings that Moo Moo song. That's all the rage. Talking about eating hamburgers, not pork, like a good, like a good Jewish gal. Hit, hit the fucking Hitler. <laughs> but that's not that's not being racist. You know why that's not racist? Because the because the phrase didn't start with fucking Brett. Oh, there's another rule in there. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, okay. that's what makes it racist. Okay. All right. When you refer to them as famed Jewish rapper Doja Cat, who once again, I had no idea was Jewish. I thought she was I thought she was full on African American. I had no idea. But when you say famed Jewish rapper and then proceed to, you know, work with a voice, that's not being racist. When you say f- 
rapper Doja Cat. <laughs> well, then, in that case, yes, you get yourself as soon as these buttons get to go in there. That's when you get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so so it's perfectly fine for you to assume that a black person can't be Jewish. They can be. Lenny Kravitz slash right. Doja Cat. Right. Well, you 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 just said that. Her being a fully African American, you didn't. I think she would be. I did well, no, but what I would I? Do you know was, who, you know from her his, real name? That I do not. Okay. Amal, <laughs> Amalo Ratna Zindale Dlamini. No wonder she changed it. I would go with Doja Cat or what? something too. Do you know yeah, what it was? Like, write that. Shlomo Boykowitz. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Shlomina. <laughs> <laughs> Berkowitz. <laughs> Still not racist. Speaking of Slash, know what I learned about Slash? What did you learn about Slash? Slash. Uh, I'm tangled. Slash <laughs> was born in the UK and is a UK citizen. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, is he full citizen or does he have dual citizenship because he's been in America for... He's got dual citizenship. Yeah. Okay. You, you do not stop being a citizen of England. You do not stop. My stepdad immigrated over here. He's still a citizen of Great Britain. Oh. Of the UK. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he gets his retirement and everything. He's still a citizen. <laughs> does he get it by the pound? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Really? I'm, on, I'm, 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 That's like a fucking I'm, sixth I'm, grader I'm, joke. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, whatever. <laughs> oh, speaking of fun with buttons, let's uh, let's go ahead and officially kick off the old hot takes here, shall we? News and notes from all four corners of the pop culture world. And the sign gotta stay hot. You gotta stay hot. You gotta stay hot. It's time for some hot takes. Yeah, we got a couple of key points here on the board. You know, everyone's out there talking. Everyone's out there talking those Chinese seeds. But we got we we go one better. What do you we got? got? We, had, we got a couple of stuff here. What do you got for us? Um. Well, Jason got. I'll, be, I'll, I'll do mine here real quick, and then we'll 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 talk up. Uh, the story Jason presented to us this week. Ooh. But uh, yeah, did you guys hear about this shit out in Maine? The what? The first ever death by a shark attack in the state of Maine this past week. I did not hear about that. Great white. Great white shark. In Maine. In Maine. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I think this came from the New York Post. I'm not quite sure. Just kind of reading some of the key headers off this. A woman was killed by a great white shark in the first fatal shark attack on record in the U.S. state of Maine. Uh, The woman was swimming near Bailey Island uh, just a little bit... uh, uh, a little bit away from Portland, Maine. Uh, Julie Holervec. Holovec. Holovec. Yeah, 63 year old woman, fashion executive. Uh, was out. Uh, sec- it was the second shark attack ever recorded in Maine. The first one was a swimmer who got away and had no injuries or anything like that. But yeah. And I guess. <laughs> The, the the part the part about this story no it's not I mean obviously it's not funny you got a fucking great white shark in Maine so all of a sudden you know no that's a perfectly natural part of their habitat yeah. is it? I thought they were more southern I don't know um here's a little map of the range of the great white shark their range is amazing worldwide. oh there you go yeah worldwide as a matter of fact they breed off the coast of Maine oh well there you go so ten thousand dollars I'll give you the tail the fin the whole so damn thing so it's actually kind of surprising that that was the first that's the first death that um, ever occurred yeah. Great whites aren't responsible but, for the shut up. Great whites <laughs> are not responsible for the majority of shark attacks. Great great whites are a small portion. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what is it? Bull sharks? It's like uh, bull sharks, tiger sharks, um, and what is it? The black tip, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think the bull shark, I think it's the bull shark, is one of the most deadly ones because it can go in salt water and, and fresh, fresh water. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they found, actually found found some like up rivers, right? Well, and they even they even say in the article here, and I kind of giggled when I first read about so it. So it's not but, unusual for a shark to be there, but for her to get killed by one, that's fucking. Well, and that's what they they were saying in here was that uh, a case of a case of mistaken identity. 
Mm-hmm. Which 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 made me giggle at first. Like, okay, so which which old gal were they looking for? <laughs> right. Sorry. But but There's actually a, people aren't a natural prey of the great white. What they were uh, what they were looking at it as being was confusing it for one of the seals. Right. That was been, she on like a, a, a like a surfboard or paddleboard or something like that? I'm not sure. It didn't go it didn't didn't specify where right. or what she was on or what she was at. Or like a black swimming suit, I guess they hit him on something like that. Yeah. yeah. If they have like the fight flippers and stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, because they'll attack just a silhouette. You've we've all seen the flying sharks off the uh, South Africa. Which is fucking awesome. They fucking jump clean out of the fucking water like thirty feet. And all they're attacking uh, no, is a little. No, uh, I was, I was, I was oh. getting getting the attention. I thought you were like, I can't no, bend over because no, of is, my yoga. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I thought that story was actually pretty fascinating. It is. All the way around. It is. That. And when, uh, where did Jaws take place? Amityville, I believe, was Massachusetts. Right. Or not Amityville, but Amity. Um, yeah. Amity Island. I want to say it was Massachusetts, but I could be wrong. Meow. Just curious. Because that's not far from Maine. Well, yeah, no, 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 none of that is. That was the biggest one, one of the biggest culture shocks that I had when I moved out to the East Coast back in '01. Was just getting used to the fact that you know pretty much the entire New England area can fit in Montana. Because when someone says, "Yeah, we're gonna go," you know, where I was working at the time at the bank, you know, the gal. Yeah, me and my husband, we're going to go up to Connecticut for the weekend. And I'm like, fuck, Connecticut's like five states up. What the fuck? And I was like, oh, wait a second. Right. You're talking about <laughs> like states that are half the size of our county. I was going to say, right. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a drive to Billings for us. I'm sorry. Go about your business. It's not for me to judge. <laughs> did you hear Doja Cat's Jewish? That's all I got for that. So what did you have on the, uh, the, old, the old docket there? Uh kind of a science nerd shit the mars <laughs> uh perseverance rover launched successfully yesterday Ooh. um sending another uh rover uh called perseverance it's uh uh similar to the curiosity rover that landed eight years ago similar in size and construction about the size of an suv and uh uh it's going to be roaming around a crater on mars looking for uh like signs of life and water and uh, collecting samples that will be uh, in a future mission will be brought back to earth. Do they have a plan for it to be brought back there? It's like uh, they're putting in these little like sample containers that could be picked up and brought back to earth later by another uh, robotic lander. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So, so it's like a, they're, they're just preparing for, Something that they're working on mm-hmm. going. That's cool. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that. I mean, that's real fucking cool because, I mean, obviously we've never gotten any type of rock or soil samples from Mars, so that's going to be... Um, there's... Uh, uh, I think they found some Mar- uh, rocks in Antarctica that were from Mars that were somehow ejected from Mars' surface and made it to Earth like mm-hmm. some sort of long I wonder how they ago. know. That's, that's what I... See, and that's, that's the first question I've got is how, you know, how would you know but that? But to actually get some actual samples back from Mars is going to be pretty historic. That's going to be pretty fucking yeah, cool. because you're going to know exactly where they came from. So, and this motherfucker um, has a helicopter on it. Yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's going to be. The, that is awesome. Uh, it's going to be the first powered flight on another planet. That's cool. And. Okay, so now now I've got two. Now that you bring that up, I have two questions that come out of you know ignorance, lack of knowledge, what okay. the hell ever you want to say. Uh, first one to get out of the way, not to pardon the pun, but but curiosity asks me, what happened to the original rover that's on there now? Did it get decommissioned? Is the the battery dead? I mean, is there or is it Which is it one? still running around? Oh, I thought well, I only thought we had the one up there. We no, we have we we've, we've got several. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's several. Okay. Well, um, there's like uh, these little tiny guys they put up there. Uh, opportunity and something else. Um, there's one of them. It was only supposed to last a few months, but this little tiny fucking like remote control sized robot ended up lasting like 
years and years, years and yeah. years. Um, uh, I think one of them might be active as like a like a stationary like little data station thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now the 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 first big one was the Curiosity rover. That's about right. the size of your Toyota. Right. And right. Perseverance is basically like that same model, but with different scientific instruments. Okay. Upgraded goodies. Um, type of stuff, yeah. And uh, um, with the Curiosity, when that one landed, NASA had it like on the on the on their website and stuff broadcast like live as they were seeing it. And uh, yeah, you could sign in and watch the whole fucking thing. Um, it wasn't. It was live from NASA, but the rover had landed itself like minutes and minutes earlier. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's well, all yeah. it's all done through a robotic and self controlled. This whole landing process is pretty fucking amazing because it comes tearing ass across the fucking galaxy at like fucking twenty thousand goddamn miles an hour, mm-hmm. and it crashes into the fucking Mars's atmosphere just like any other thing, and heat shield burns up. And as it's coming down, it like fucking mock ass chicken. Parachute pops out, and uh, these parachutes are deploying at mock speeds. Right. And uh, as these parachutes deploy, it slows the thing down. The heat shield falls away and uh, starts uh, going down on the parachute. Mars's atmosphere is pretty fucking thin. So a parachute with a, a weight like much like an SUV, that parachute isn't going to slow it down. Enough. Not hardly. No, yeah. Not enough. So it comes down, gets above the surface, and rockets deploy and it hovers above the surface and drops the rover down on a little on a cable plops it gently down on the ground boop, cuts the cables and the thing flies off and that fucking thing has been driving around on mars for eight fucking years now that brings up the second of my two um questions okay stemming from ignorance with the thinner atmosphere how how well do they expect the helicopter to work? Like, is um, it going to be able to generate enough, you know, air pressure, it, you know? It, it's not like they just fucking drag an RC lift. car, RC helicopter on this thing and worry, let's see if this works. No. Right. This thing has been in development for many, 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 many years. Sure. They've got a big, giant, like, vacuum chamber type deal, but they can replicate the Mars atmosphere. Okay. And they've tested this thing, and it, they can make it fly. And it flies itself. As a matter of fact, it flies itself better than a human can. Sure. A human can't fly it, but it can fly itself. Well, I mean, it kind of has to because, I mean, I think, what was, it, what was it that I had heard? Like, it takes 20 minutes for a signal to reach between mm-hmm. Mars and Earth. Something it's like, like 20 that, yeah. minutes. So, yeah, you're not controlling shit. <laughs> from the, no. the, when, you, when your reaction time, you don't get a 20-minute window. That's not how No, no, that's no, not going to yeah. happen at all. Yeah, and that's <laughs> like with that whole landing su- sequence. They call it, it's like the, the seven minutes of terror. Because all NASA can do is just sit back and watch and hope. Decades and pray it's going to work. Right. And millions and millions of dollars and all these man hours works. Yeah. And it worked the first fucking time perfectly when they did that, the sky crane thing. That's mm-hmm. pretty fucking, that's all robotic. Holy shit. And people are afraid of robot cars. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I'd rather get in a robot car than a people car because, you know, I got to trust some asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, by the same token, though. You got NASA engineers working on this motherfucker. See, I thought not, you were going to call me out. Not on, Cooter. I thought you were going to call me out on the powered flight. The powered flight? Yeah. Because I said it's the first powered flight on another planet. Um, yeah, because I think it was either Saturn or Jupiter that had it first, wasn't it? No. If it's on Mars, it's not the. F- if it happened to be before Mars, it wouldn't be the first powered flight on another planet. I guess we're playing. Key word is powered. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean powered flight, Jason? Well, see, hey, in Jason, the 70s. Jason, what do you mean by powered flight? <laughs> well, see, in the 70s, the Soviets launched probes to Venus. And they launched uh, these probes that they were balloons that were suspended in the Mars atmosphere and were able to broadcast data. It was like 45 days. There you go. 
So, yeah, it's not the first flight on another planet. It's the first powered flight. Yeah, the vo- play, playing games with the vocabulary is not my it's strong skill. It's a TJ skill. game, so fuck off. <laughs> yeah, well, T- TJ's, also, TJ's also running on two hours of sleep, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, right back at you. <laughs> no, you surprised me with that one because I thought we were going to talk about the crazy bitch going to Jesus going to burn down Facebook. <laughs> I don't really care about her. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Jesus going to burn down Facebook. <laughs> he don't like what Facebook is saying. I was, I was, I was all ready to intro the bit with some, with I, some, with some uh, uh, Doobie Brothers. <laughs> I, I truly was not sitting around waiting for some other fucking crazy ass person and get on tv and get political about a fucking disease <laughs> <laughs> i was actually waiting and looking forward to the perseverance launch <laughs> i was keeping tabs but it's a it. crazed fat black woman it doesn't get any better than that <laughs> jesus gonna burn down a facebook there'll be another one <laughs> there'll, there'll be, be one. there'll be another, uh, there'll be another there, one. Prob- <laughs> there probably was just now there was only one perseverance launch yeah, <laughs> there's, so, you there's know, plenty I of fat, crazy black women. <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of fat, crazed women. There's, there's plenty of fatties out there. It's plenty okay. Plenty of crazed, fat, black women. This, <laughs> this is once in a lifetime. That, oh, fuck. That's, fuck that's, that that's happens all the time down go, south. Go, go, go to goddamn Walmart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Jesus gonna burn down this Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. Well, let's go ahead here. Let's wrap up the uh, old segment two because okay. it sounds like sounds like Jason's got himself a a winner for. I hope so for Reddit. A fun. winner, winner, chicken dinner. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Hopefully, Brett will be happy with this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> He he missed out on the last one. Yeah, that yeah, that, was, that was a good one. Uh, All right. It's it's good stuff. All right, so we'll find out if Brett's a winner and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm a three. winner no matter what. It's a quad M show, gang. Stay tuned. Winner. In a city where corruption rules the streets, only one man can stop the serial killer known as the Blood Bandit. James Kurt, a former police officer turned private investigator, must race against the clock to stop the madman before he achieves his ultimate diabolical goal. When JK's brother Alex is thought killed in the line of duty and mysteriously returns with no memory of his past life, the stakes are raised even higher. Enigma, the comic book series from Quad M Productions, written and illustrated by TJ Damon, with colors and effects by Jason Vickers. Enigma. Order your copy at quadmproductions.com today. You're listening to the Quad M Show. Segment 3. And welcome back to this here third segment of the Quad M Show. And again, we are your hosts. I am TJ. Jason. And Brett. Boy, oh boy. Really great work, bitches. And this segment is brought to you in part, as always, by the fine folk over at DeeplyDapper.com. Chris McClanahan, good friend of the show. And it seems like I talked to him. He should be on here for the 200th episode. Yeah, going to do a Skype or something. Come in. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll get, we'll get it figured out. He's had a lot of stuff going on. Sure. Probably not a lot. Probably not what we'll really talk about. I think a lot of it will be focused on the uh, tabletops and tentacles. Yeah, book. you still need to send that to us. I sent it out to you guys last week. Did you not get the text? Mm, Jason got the text. I will text. have to check. Yeah. I sent the I sent the Dropbox link, and then that didn't quite work out, I think, so I emailed it to Jason. Did you uh, Did you work from your email? Good. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. You can check it. Check it later. We'll check know. it later. If anything else, if I need we'll, to, I'll we'll email fi- it to we'll, you. We'll finger it out. But we'll, you know, talk about that with him and how COVID is really fucked our game up when it comes to the cons and all that type of stuff, so maybe a good time. Talk to our buddy Chris, because you've heard us go on and on about all the sweet merch you can get over there at DeeplyDapper.com, including the original art prints and books, the vinyl wrap metal flasks, the custom key hangers, and those light switch plates, as well as the handmade soaps. Everything all based on your favorite pop culture and nerd world properties. But goddamn, there is so much more. Because he's a man of a million talents. Yes. If you get the chance after you're done checking us out, 
go on over, pop on over, stop by, take a listen to the Screaming Midnight podcast, as well as the Robot Kraken podcast. All that, all that entertainment and merch provided by one Monsignor Christopher McClanahan and DeeplyDapper.com. Once again, that is DeeplyDapper.com. Better living through tentacles. 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 All right. Well, you know, it seems like Jason was was rather happy with his selection for Reddit fun this week. Yes, I am curious. What what do you have in store for us? So let's go ahead and get into it. A little bit of Reddit fun with Jason. Reddit fun with Jason. All right, good sir. What does Hive Mind have for us this week? Okay. This week's question is brought to us by Ooglist. <laughs> I might Ooglist. Ask for my name. <laughs> Ooglist. Yep. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Yes, sir. Uh, Got your thinking caps on? Well, I have. No. <laughs> <laughs> no? It's more no. of a thinking bit. No. <laughs> it's more of a thinking do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a thinkless cap. It's more of a thinking beanie. Your anus is now fully self-aware and screams <laughs> whenever you use the toilet. <laughs> I just think of, woohoo, here we go again. <laughs> How do you calm it down? <laughs> Tell me, ladies, how do you calm down your asshole? Get him a beer. <laughs> And God damn it, I wasn't ready. I'm sorry about that, folks. Here we'll on. And there we go. There we go. How do you calm down your asshole? Get him a beer. <laughs> Why do you just rub some Vaseline on it really good and be like, there you go, little buddy? <laughs> we'll solve. <laughs> Maybe just try to muffle it. <laughs> <laughs> Spread your butt cheeks and put it, put it by a fan. <laughs> no, calm down, guy. Come on, cool off. <laughs> so what? What does the Borg have to say? <laughs> Irony says, uh, with aloe vera and a patient hand. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, Brutski226. I wouldn't. I would train it to sing classic rock and start a Guns N' Roses (laughs) cover band. <laughs> Instead of fat axle, you got a fat asshole. You know, you know that that's that, that brings that brings up a new idea from uh, you know uh, uh, Buster Hyman's Buster Hyman's video production company, Buster Hyman's Angry Assholes Volume Three. <laughs> Look who's talking now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is it like a Mr. Ed thing? They put the electrodes oh. up to it. Oh, Wilbur. You oh. need the Charmin. Quit using that cheap store shit. Oh. I don't like the Moxie. The Moxie's no good. Oh. Quit 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 running. Quit running. The fat guy Chafin's killing me over here, Wilbur. Oh. Don't you have any <laughs> Don't you have any of that monkey butt powder? Monkey. <laughs> Oh, Wilbur, I think I got COVID down here. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a temperature of 102. Buy some Cottonelle wipes, you cheap fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Brett, ask me who I am. Hey, TJ, who are you? I'm a shitty <laughs> asshole. <laughs> 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 oh no. <laughs> Shitty Ed the asshole. Shitty, Shitty, Shitty Ed. Ed the asshole. <laughs> well, TJ is named his anus. Ed. Shitty Ed. I can't, no, I can't, I can't use it. 
<laughs> we'll just say shit. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Dude, because I got an uncle named Ed. That just would not. That's not appropriate. <laughs> There's a line. God damn it. <laughs> I, I think that line's been crossed a while ago there, <laughs> TJ. No, there, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so, Mr. Ed will let us continue. If, 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 if shitty asshole Ed will fucking let us go. Yes. <laughs> Carter Bean says, tighten my butt cheeks so no one can hear its screams. <laughs> oh, no. I am your FBI agent says, I don't know, but it would enjoy me. What? I don't know, but it won't enjoy me being gay and a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dark ape man says, Shh, little buddy, only tastes bad for a minute. Then I'll wipe <laughs> all the poopies away. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just should have stopped with shh, little buddy. <laughs> it's okay, little buddy. Take out, what? Take out Bukafu. Shut up, or you'll get a taste of cactus again. Oh, you gotta read that one. No, it's it's it's. He's Which trying to figure I, I, out the name. He's no, trying to figure out the name. No. Ah, creative writing account. <laughs> Sing it a lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, little anus, don't say a word. Papa's gonna push out a huge fucking turd, and if that fucking turd doesn't drop. Papa's gonna buy me some eye hop. Eye hop food is ass. Papa's gonna have to ga have to. Papa's gonna have some gas to pass. And if that gas smells real bad, Papa's gonna find you real thick, Chad. And if that Chad isn't gay, Papa's gonna pray his straight away. <laughs> and if that gay is a bottom, Papa's gonna say top is awesome. And if that Chad decides to top, Papa's going to let him go nonstop. <laughs> and if he's hung Jesus like Christ. a horse, Poppy's going to scream till my voice says horse. And once my voice starts dying down, you'll still be the widest gape in town. Still be the widest gape in town. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hush, little anus, don't you cry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and ladies and gentlemen, that's the first, that is the first and probably only time you will ever hear Jason sing on this show. <laughs> Hush, little anus, don't you cry. All right. The middle nut says, uh, <laughs> plug it so it can't scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, like a ball gag. <laughs> the gaming nut says, what the fuck? Um, Taco Bell. Harry Bow sugar free gummy bears. There we go. <laughs> and and a pair of noise reduction headphones. Yes. A very happy person says, finally a partner to scream with. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? That one it's, it's a contest you want, huh? Oh <laughs> <laughs> DJ, who are you talking to? I was talking to Oakland. You shut up down there. <laughs> Goddamn cock blocker. <laughs> Ever since my ass became self-aware, the fucking the, the getting pussy game has just gone out the fucking window. Why are you always talking about wanting to get a piece of ass? I'm right here. Shitty asshole. What's your problem? You'll finger her, but not me. <laughs> Semi-hadron says uh, waterboarding. Specific benefit. <laughs> Referring to the question, Google how to unread something. <laughs> uh, Jewel Shuck says, uh, speaking as an older redditor, that is essentially what will happen to all of you in time. 
<laughs> That's why they did the pins. I'm wondering whatever happened to that one fucking crazed dude that looked like the, the one of the he showed his picture on there and one guy responded with, Are you a Viking? I mean, this was from like way back show era. He was trying to prove something scientific and he fucking looked like Charles Manson's older brother. And I just remember one of the Redditors replying with, Are you a Viking? Are you a Viking? <laughs> I don't remember. I did like 199 episodes. Trust me, I'm not going to go digging to find it either. <laughs> and we're getting into repeats. Um, Page Panda says laxatives. Crazer 89, butt plug. I mean, it's pretty much a pacifier in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, where's my binky? <laughs> Bi- Bio slug. Go on and see who passes a full jar of jalapenos in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Pragmatist 203. Why would I? I would only utilize public bathrooms if I had this feature. And now a poem. We'll end with and a now, poem. And now a poem. <laughs> and now a poem by Tarantulasaurus Rex. I'll keep digging till I feel something. Elbow deep inside the borderline. Show me that you love me and that we belong together. Shoulder deep within the borderline. Relax, turn around, and take my hand. I don't even know what the what fuck What the that- fuck was that? <laughs> what is it? See, that's the weird thing about poetry. God damn it. Reply to him. Are you a Viking? <laughs> Oops. Hold on. I hate poems you have to have explained to you. I mean, apparently he's going shoulder deep. That that, that that's, that's like some mega fisting going that's, on. That that that's you know f- way more than a goddamn colonoscopy. Well, and if he's doing it to himself, talk about yoga, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's impressive. Well, you know, I mean, the women folk have their, you know, self-breast exams to, mm-hmm. you know, make sure there's no lump. I guess if you're, if you're going to fucking do a self-prostate exam, fucking do it right. Fucking go all the way, man. Shoulder deep, apparently, from what uh, <laughs> old Poetry Corner Jones over there has to say. And here's the last one by Cyber okay. Hybrid. I will train it to speak so that when I poop, it will say harder, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn, why are you doing this right now? Oh, <laughs> harder, Daddy, harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Redditors. Yeah. Oh, you Borg. Thank you so much. Uh, so as we begin to wind her down, picks of the week for the week this week. Jason, do you got anything? Uh, the good old standby, um, occasional sweep and a lot of caffeine. Yeah, I might be siding with you on that one. Right. Yeah. Brett. Um, yeah, there's a, a group out there, uh, a business called FireQuest. Jason might have heard of them. Um, they're out of Arkansas, and they make all sorts of really cool ammo. Okay. Um, for, they, they say for self-defense. Um, for example... They'll have a shotgun shell with, uh, like, buckshot and then a bunch of BBs behind it. Okay. So, um, or they'll have shotgun shells full of little tiny darts. Jesus Christ. Um, They're called uh, flechettes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they also have one uh, to where it's got a wire attached to two big buckshots. And the idea behind that is... The buckshots get shot at the person, hit the person, and then the wire fucks up everything else. God damn. Um, um, similar to a device they used to use in uh, uh, cannons. Yeah, out of cannons. Chain, to, chain shot is what it was called. It was right. two cannonballs chained together, fired out of cannons, and they would fire it. You know, this is back in the day when the troops are like lined up in front of each other and 
shot each other until they won. Right. And yeah, this was like for that. Like imagine like two cannonballs about five feet apart with a big chunk of chain. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like Pretty devastating. Whacker. There's another one they have called Dragon's Breath that, in essence, it shoots a fireball at someone. <laughs> There's Dragon's Breath right there. Oh, how about that? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. That's a good, that's a good um, stream of fire. Then they have uh, uh, bullets for a 9mm that will explode a uh, watermelon. So shooting a watermelon with a normal 9mm, it won't, like, explode it. Sure. But with these, it... You'll get you'll get some exit wound action, but that's about uh, it. No exit wound. Really? That's the whole idea behind them. Really? Is mm-hmm. there's so much impact going into it that there's no exit wound. So if someone's what, behind them, you don't shoot that person. Right. When when a bullet just goes right through something, it is wasting energy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Rather than if that bullet were to stop when it hits something, it expands all that energy right there inside the target not in the dirt burn behind it mm. yeah that's how you make exploding gophers and stuff uh-huh. mm. which are fantastic <laughs> <laughs> which are amazing <laughs> they also make a two two three round that uh sends out i think nine projectiles is it more of those fleshettes i'm on their website right now um i don't think it's it I'm really not sure exactly what that is. Hmm. But, yeah. the They're expensive, and but really fun. Sweet. It, it's something I, I think I might have to try out. Partake. Well, yeah, you know, I'll get some of that Dragon's Breath. Go up to the, go up to the North Hills. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that'd be a real smart thing to that'd do. That would be a smart thing, wouldn't it? Especially after he's... Probably spent a, a divorce causing <laughs> amount of money on it. <laughs> Let her rip. What the fuck else do I got to lose? What the fuck? It already burned once. <laughs> TJ, how about you? Oh, uh, boy. Goddamn. I mean, I'm running on fumes. So I think sleep is the big one. And, and also, you know, a, a weekend of, of the Carlson one Cineplex. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Heck yeah! If your kids get the chance, really set up your own outdoor outdoor big screen. It's 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 well worth it. It is. It's fucking awesome. It is fucking awesome. That projector is that is that a, a 1080 or does it have 4K possibilities? What's what's the resolution on that guy? Um, good. So in other words, in other words, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not good. just good. I it's seen, good enough. I seen it's me a good picture. Enough. <laughs> I seen me a picture. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. Like I said, the, 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 your boy's running on fumes, so it's definitely, uh, definitely, definitely try to do the uh, the stay awakey challenge for tonight's tonight's movie, and then and then hopefully <laughs> we'll find a way to ensure that we can watch tomorrow's selection. Yes, yes, and uh, maybe you'll sleep past six. What tomorrow? Yeah. Oh fuck! I hope so. Because like I said, my internal clock, dude, two two forty five a.m. Boom. Yeah, once that internal clock hits. Yeah, I'd like to get a little bit more than three hours of sleep in a given night. So with that, gentle people, do we have anything left to pimp, promote, propagate, or pander? Uh, no. Nope. Then that will wrap it up for this week's episode of the Quad M Show. As always, gang, whatever podcast and catching app you're listening to us on, make sure that you're subscribed, rating, and reviewing. That is so important to us. Also, to make sure to follow us, like us, and share us on the various social medias, including the Book of Face, the Twitter, and Instagram. There we go. Spot on, dude. <laughs> Proud of you. Oh, we're going to fucking pick up Steve Slack. We'll have our shit handled by 200, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Until next time, until the big 200 kids, this is TJ. Jason. Brett. And we will see you all later, gang. Take care. You've been listening to the Quad M Show. Copyright 2020. Quad M Productions. If you have any comments, questions, queries, quibbles, or concerns, email us at quadmcomics at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at quadmcomics. Hi there!
your time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You. Not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh. Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops. All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow.